Hello Capricorn and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Reading. I hope you all have had a very great weekend. I'm super excited to do your reading this week where I'll be focusing mainly on your finances. So I want your spirit team to help you and guide you. What is it that you need to know about your finances, any challenges, your thoughts, possible outcome, any actions that you need to take. So Capricorn, let's get started. I'm just going to pull out your energy card for this week. All right, let's get started. Okay. And the card we have here, the six of wands, Capricorn. This is a fantastic card. This is a card about recognition, awards, accolades. You've been working very, very hard. You've been putting the hours, putting the skills, sacrificing, maybe the weekends, learning. It didn't come overnight. It definitely did not come easy. However, though, you're being awarded for your efforts. So Capricorn, if you're, you might get invited, there could be an invitation to some award, some sort of ceremony. Definitely, definitely go Capricorn. You deserve it. This is all about celebrations. It's about clapping for you people are going to be clapping for you this is fantastic just a word of warning there could be some some people jealous yes there could be some jealousy um, people not clapping for you does not matter Capricorn the energy here that you've worked extremely hard for your work and you deserve to be recognized and awarded so any invitations definitely go go to any invitations and you deserve a Capricorn so one more shuffle. Okay. Okay, so let's look at your finances, Capricorn. The current situation we have here, strength. This is good. This is a major arcana. Capricorn. So basically you have a very, very good and a very sensible approach to your finances. You approach it very calmly, very sensible. You don't approach it like vinegar. So you don't go in very aggressive. So this is very, very good Capricorn. You like to approach things. You like to check your financial statements. You like to see where your money is going and also plan for the head. You have the strength to do anything, the knowledge and the wisdom in terms of your finances. Any challenges we have here? Yep, the Seven of Cups. Now the Seven of Cups is all about options. You may be feeling, where should I put my money? You may be afraid about investing. You may be afraid about putting your money to work, not you working for your money. You're probably afraid you don't know where to invest your money. You don't know where to put the money. Should you put it in the financial market, in properties? What should you do? Is it Bitcoin? Is it Forex? What should you be doing? Yeah, the best thing to do here, Capricorn, is don't think with your emotions here because cups is all about emotions. Think more logically. In other words, if you make a logical decision, you may feel more secure and more able to make a decision in terms of your money so maybe the stock index is better or maybe you want to buy properties in an area that you think there'll be growth or maybe you want to do maybe more longer term investments you do have the options absolutely Capricorn and you are thinking long term the best thing to do is think more logically so look at performance history, look at everything and do your due diligence and you'll be able to make a decision. In the past, we have yep, the Six of Swords. So in the past, you have moved away from certain areas in your life that were a bit troubling, a bit toxic, and you're moving into calmer waters. In other words, with your finances, you're planning more ahead with your finances. In the past, you've taken the stance, you've taken, you've taken action to be better and more responsible with your money, Capricorn. So this could also be changing banks, look having, for example, a, a software 
to budget everything, your expenses, everything. You're just being very, very responsible here. You want to know exactly where your money is going. You want to know every little penny, every everything, where it goes. So you definitely have taken action in the past. If you haven't, you will definitely. And again, this could be learning more, learning more about your money, just becoming more wiser. But you've taken the right actions here, Capricorn. Okay, the foundation of the reading is justice you want to find that balance capricorn you want to be able to not only just work but have that freedom to play so in other words you want to have that money to also be able to buy something for yourself or, or travel or just do something for yourself so you are thinking very very like a boss you're thinking more like if I set some money aside, I'll be able to, for example, travel. I'll be able to start a business. You may be thinking starting, there could be, you could be working with a financial advisor. There could be a lawyer. There could be someone helping you with legalities to better, to better control your money. And this also does mean like being paid fairly, being paid um, equally also. I like seeing the justice card also. Again, if you are going through a divorce or anything, things will be paid evenly. So things are looking good, but you are planning very well for your finances, Capricorn. With your thoughts, yep, we have here the Three of Swords. You're a little bit disappointed in terms of perhaps how things were handled in the past with your finances, Capricorn. Maybe there's been money loss, maybe some investments went wrong, something's gone wrong here and you feel very heartbroken. However though, Capricorn, this is temporary. This will pass. Why? Because you have the lessons. It could be why you're so nervous with the Seven of Cups, afraid to make the wrong decision. The thing with you, Capricorn, you are quite a strong leader. You learn from your mistakes and you still, you always push forward. No matter what's happened, no matter what disappointments that you have faced, you always push forward and you learn from your mistakes. In the near future, you're going to have a reason to smile, Capricorn, because we have here the Ten of Cups. This is happy home life, happy um, everything. This is the Abundance card. As you can see, this family here, they're just very, very happy. There's stability. There's a strong foundation at home. So in the near future, definitely Capricorn, you are going to take very good charge of your money. I like seeing this. You are definitely going to have the strength to do something with your money. You're going to, you're going to have a lot of options, absolutely, but there is a bit of fear, yes. However, though, you're going to be very, very sensible and you're going to be able to do something very good with your money here, Capricorn. Okay, point of view, how you see yourself, yep. We have here the four of swords here. You are a little bit tired at the moment, Capricorn. You are a little bit exhausted. You feel a little bit overwhelmed and you are you see yourself very, very tired. Don't forget also, Capricorn, to do take some time out. Recharge your batteries. Relax. I know you definitely want, you've got a good head on your shoulders and you definitely want to do something better for your future and you will. You definitely will, Capricorn. Take the time to rest because you may be over flooded with information that you are that that you're probably learning and you're probably a little bit overwhelmed take your time rest and move on in your environment yeah we have here the three of pentacles here capricorn this is literally you working very hard you're probably sacrificing the weekends sacrificing a lot of overtime a lot of hours you probably have another job another side business probably working at night, learning something also. And you're surrounded by good people that want to work with you. And you have the good intentions, Capricorn. You want the best. You probably want the best for your family, the best for yourself. And you just want that stability also. And again, this comes with your skills. You have a great skill capacity. You're, you're very capable here. And now this can be you're probably working very hard towards your finances. You're probably learning something too. Just educating yourself about money. And again, you're working towards the future here. 
with hopes, wishes, and actions. Yeah, you've got the Knight of Cups here. You are definitely going to be taking action here. Somebody, okay, I'm also picking up that you might, that somebody could also give you really, really good financial advice here. This could be a person that's linked to your job or someone that you seek. Now, this person is very well off and they also look after themselves. They take the time to look after themselves. And again, you're going to be taking action. So when this night comes, you will definitely take action. You will definitely take upon the advice of what you hear. Now, it doesn't have to be something direct that I'm picking up that. It could be something that you see on TV, maybe something you see online, and you're going to take action to, and it's something towards your finances to learn more and where you can put it. The outcome we have here, wow, we have here the Knight of Pentacles. Now, this is a solid offer, Capricorn. It is the slowest moving knight, but you can trust this person because they bring a solid offer. And what does this mean? An increase in your finances. There's more stability and the foundation at home is stronger. You're definitely going to be taking action. You're definitely going to do something with your money here and you're going to see an increase in finances. You're going to see it, Capricorn. And again, the, the Knight of Pentacles means changes, offers, promotions. So let's get some clarification cards because I like seeing, so far you have a good, you have a good reading, Capricorn. Yes, it's been a bit of hurt in the past, but you're going to move on for that. You're going to take in the lessons that you learned and you're going to have a better foundation with your money, Capricorn. But let's get some, let's get some clarification cards here. What is it that Capricorn needs to know? Okay. Cut the cards. Okay, I'll grab this one. All right, in the current situation, you did get the strength card. That's also been confirmed with the eight of cups here. Now, Capricorn, there are the situations that you're going to walk away from. You're going to have actually the strength to walk away. This could be from, uh, it could be a job. It could be people. Something that used to, that used to interest you, is that doesn't no longer interest you. In fact, it's just a routine. That's why you have the strength card. You're going to be able to have the strength to move away. Now, this could be a job. You, could, you probably want to start a business. You want to just travel maybe, do business overseas, um, maybe interstate in a different area, but you're definitely walking away. This is the only card that this person shows their back because they're just moving away. They're taking that chance, going on an adventure and just doing something for themselves. Capricorn, you're definitely going to do something. You're going to move away and take that chance. I love this. I love seeing this. Challenges, okay, we have here the Three of Wands. Now, the Three of Wands is all about seeing your ship come through. Now, you're going to be presented with a lot of options. And it, yes, it may take a bit of time. It's not because of you, because perhaps... Um, you have to, the other party or whoever that you've contacted may take a, a while to get back to you. There could be a little bit of delays. Now, this delay could be on you trying to make a decision. You don't know, you don't know what decision to make. So the delay maybe could be you because you don't know what, which, which, which decision to take. You have so many choices and you feel a little bit overwhelmed. The fear of the unknown, it's going to be okay, Capricorn. There's definitely coming towards you. And like I said before, just make a logical decision. Look at everything from a different angle. See what you're definitely going to do something. Your ship, this something is definitely coming towards you. More than one offer. And you just may feel a little bit overwhelmed. You probably feel unable to make a decision, but you will definitely. In the past, we have here, yeah, the four of pentacles here. Then the past you probably were overspending or not spending. This is also the fear of losing money, the fear of people stealing your money. And you've been, you've been keeping people at an arm's length. In other words, you haven't been revealing 
a lot to anybody you haven't been you've been giving people a lot of vague answers in the past so with look i don't think that's a bad thing sometimes the only thing here capricorn is when you have fear about money in other words not being able to pay for anything and i know it's very easy for me to say this but sometimes when we think negative about money we block ourselves from manifesting more money so keep your positive thoughts elevated about your your money in other words always think to yourself i'm full of abundance i'm full always say that you are the opposite of your negative thoughts and you will see a change here and you're definitely moving away from a toxic situation something that no longer serves you it could be a job also your the foundation of the reading has also been conf confirmed with the ten of pentacles this is fantastic definitely see an increase of money so there's going to be money to share capricorn there's going to be money to spend there's going to be money to enjoy i love seeing this and the fact that it's with um justice Again, this also means that there could be a contract that you're expecting and it's going to go your way. You're going to receive more than what you expected. It's, it's abundance. It's really feeling secure. The, the foundation is amazing. Again, if there's spousal support that needs to be paid or divorce, it's going to go your way. Again, Justice is dealing probably dealing with a lawyer and things are just going to go your way this is fantastic it's i feel like this is there's going to be a very lucrative deal something really solid here now with your thoughts that's also been confirmed with the page of wands there may have been a little bit disappointment about a project here something that you were very very passionate about more towards your projects ideas goals and it didn't exactly work out you may have received bad news and that's why you got the three of swords you felt disappointment but you're going to move on from this pages are all about messages so you probably received an email something about a project that you had your heart set on but you did receive perhaps some bad news but though you're picking yourself up here capricorn you're going to pick yourself up and do something pretty amazing here near future that's also been confirmed with the knight of swords this is a call to action you're going to receive quick news this is not slow this is the second fastest moving night you're going to receive some great news about projects you're going to feel amazing you're going to feel butterflies in your stomach you're going to feel that passion again it's going to ignite however though this also requires a call to action you have to take action when when this comes Again, this could be an email, a Zoom call, anything about projects, and you're just going to feel amazing, Capricorn. And what does that also lead to? A huge amount of abundance, an increase of money, which is fantastic. Now, with your point of view, we have here judgment. Now, judgment is major arcana, but this is an epiphany also. It's a wake-up call. It's also making a decision. It's literally, and I think I know why you've got here the Four of Swords. Definitely you need some time to rest because you're going to be making a very important decision, Capricorn. This decision is literally going to change everything. And this speeds up the pace, judgment. So definitely take time. Take time to rest because something important. You're going to have to make a very, very important decision. Again, this could be anything to increase your money. Starting that business, maybe investing. There's something here happening here. You're going to just to go for it too, Capricorn. I love seeing this. This is fantastic. Your environment has also been confirmed with the Ten of Wands. You do have quite a lot of responsibilities. You're doing a lot, Capricorn. Again, you probably, you're probably taking care of a family. You probably have more than one job. You're probably sacrificing. You're not going out. You just work, work, work. I get it. It's going towards something, though, Capricorn. It's not just for nothing. Your sacrifice, your, what you're doing, 
you're just marching forward, it will be paid off. And you can just see yourself here, you're just working, working hard. It's going to be paid off because you've got two knights here, two very important knights. Now, your thoughts and actions, that's also been confirmed with the Emperor. This is boss energy. Capricorn, you're going to start doing more of a leadership role here. In other words, you're going to be structuring, you're going to be more disciplined with your finances. They're going to completely transform here. The Emperor also seeks um, advice from wiser people, people in very, very high positions. But I do feel like Capricorn, you are going to change. You are definitely going to take your money and make it work for you. They're just gonna, you're going to act more smarter now with your money because that's what the Emperor does. He's very boss energy and he's, he's just very, very smart how he, what he can do with his money. And you're going to do that, Capricorn. You're just going to really, really take charge. Now, the outcome has also been confirmed with death, a major arcana. Now, this is not an initial death. However, this is the end of a cycle. This is transformation. Your old self, in other words, old thoughts, old habits, old behaviors will be left behind and you're going to transform. You're going to start a new cycle. This is great, Capricorn. Completely transform here. And what do you get? You get the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Coins that brings something solid to you. Now, this, does not, this did not come overnight. This wasn't easy. I can see here clearly that you're working hard. You're working, working. Why? To completely transform. And you're going to be able to let go of some of these wands. Capricorn, I know you're doing a lot. However, however this transformation, the Emperor with the death, you're going to be able to drop some of those wands, some of your responsibilities and have more freedom. Have your money work for you, but also have that freedom. Oh, this is fantastic. I'm going to pull out purpose cards for you, Capricorn. Okay. First card we have here, travel. Your life purpose involves traveling. Now, if it doesn't, you could be communicating with people online through Zoom. With the technology these days, you can talk to anyone around the world. But there could be, yes, travel involved with your, with your um, employment or business. And again, what I love about the travel card, you're also being a little, you're, you're, you're getting out of your comfort zone also. You're using more technology. You're using to, the travel to just to expand. You're, you're expanding. The fact that you're dealing with people overseas, you're expanding. You're not thinking small. You're actually thinking quite big here, Capricorn. The second card is family here. Loving your friends and family is centered to your life purpose. I know Capricorn, you hold your family or your friends very dear, which means making this doing this what you're doing you're going to have more time to spend with your family more time to go out more time to enjoy life and your third card is to let go walk away from this situation in order to resolve it now what this means this is very closely related to this the three of swords here capricorn what's happened in the past let it go that were your lessons you are much wiser now. You're better now. If people have done you wrong, it's okay. You, you know how to handle a situation if that were to happen again. You're way better now. You've completely transformed. You know, you have the life lessons. You're wiser now. You're like the hermit, like the wise sage. You're better than that. To move forward, let go of emotions, any resentment to move forward. Because you want to move forward with a very good mind you want to keep your thoughts very elevated you want to keep just more you want to be more positive because remember thoughts become reality you don't want to think about in other words i'm losing money no 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 you're winning you are a magnet of attracting money that's how you want to think you attract money like magnet 
So let go of thoughts of situations or negative thoughts that no longer serve you. You want to attract the right people and also you want to attract more money into your life. So overall, Capricorn, I think you had a fantastic reading. It's good to be you, Capricorn. I love it because you're going to transform and you're just going to push forward into the future. Capricorn, I want to thank you so much for joining me. I absolutely loved your reading. I hope you have a fantastic week and I'll see you at the next reading. Bye for now.